What's up alligators? It's Ellie Hardesty. In today's video, before I get into it, I just want to let you all know if this does in fact get demonetized because, oh, I shouldn't even say demonetized. If this thing gets freaking banned and deleted off YouTube, I will have it on my Patreon, so links to the top of the description. I also have a lot of other stuff on there if you want to check it out. Yeah, exclusive photos and videos and stuff. So enough self promo. Let's get into this video. I'm going to expose the government and some other stuff. Uh, so enjoy. I'm mostly kidding, but also being entirely serious about what I just said. Like, this theory has me shook, and today I'm going to be focusing on five primary aspects in the umbrella topic of population control and new world order having to do with Agenda 2030, if you guys know what I'm talking about. If not, that's like the scariest thing I've ever heard of in my life when I really read into it. So we're going to dive in to this entire theory and the five points I'm going to make throughout this video. Before we get started, let me just give you guys a brief sentence about what this all means as a whole. Basically, this conspiracy is the idea that the government is trying to decrease the population weed out the weaker ones, survival of the fittest type of deal, and kind of establish us to where we are under their control more so to speak, like mind control. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. It's honestly such a big topic that no one talks about on the internet, probably because the videos get taken down, I'm assuming. But this video, if it gets taken down, like I said, it'll be my Patreon because I really, really want to tell you guys about all the information that I've gathered. A lot of this you probably have heard of, and some of it maybe you haven't at all, like a lot of this stuff was brand new to me, but putting it all together, it's such a mind-blowing concept that I think has a lot of truth or reality to it, unfortunately. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about is chemtrails. I'm sure you've heard of this in Shane Dawson's videos. This is the idea that the white trail left in the sky behind planes is actually polluting us as a society, weakening our brains, and it's kind of like a mind control thing. People say that these are contrails, like, oh, it's just the water evaporation, it's all normal. But the thing about that is, Normal planes, when they have the white stuff behind them, it disappears almost immediately, so that makes absolutely no sense. That's why people started to call them chemtrails. No one can really understand why that white stuff is in the air and then why it affects with people's moods and allergies and all this other stuff that's related because there is a conspiracy that that's basically weakening our immune system. So why would the government want to do that? Maybe this is related to the New World Order and the depopulation theory. The second point I have to make is the fluoride that the government has put in our waters. They did not ask for our consent when doing this and if you want to know the reasoning behind it they'll tell you that it's to prevent cavities but since when do they care about our dental hygiene as a population in this world and fluoride is really bad for you that's why you do not eat toothpaste and that's why a lot of the times now people have toothpaste that is fluoride free like Tom's that you can get at Target that's what I use consuming fluoride has been proven to actually lower our IQs and weaken our brain power because it's just not good for you it's not something that we're supposed to be digesting fluoride also accumulates in something called the pineal gland in our brain Brains, which we do not have full access to. This is also known as our third eye, seeing beyond what we're able to see right now. So it's basically a whole entire part of our brain that we don't have access to, and the fluoride just accumulates in there. Why would the government want those things to be polluting us? Maybe it's because they want us to die prematurely, to weaken out the weaker ones and get rid of them, kill them off. That's already kind of creepy, but it gets so much worse throughout this video. Oh my gosh. Now this third concept or conspiracy is all about vaccines. And when I first heard this, I was like, no, nah, I've heard this before. It's not a real thing. It's whatever. Because if you didn't know vaccines to prevent illnesses, they basically give you like a little taste of the virus. So that way your body can fight it off and then it'll be more immune to it and it'll be stronger because of that. That's why you always hear people telling you not to get a vaccine because you'll get the virus because I'm sure that can happen. It's never happened to me personally. So I automatically wrote off this the second I heard about it, but then I found out there was more to it. There was a reproductive and fertility study done on the most potent spermicides that were 100% effective in destroying sperm. There's something called Trifinix 100, which is in most vaccines and also was in that study. I'm not going to pretend to be a scientist here. You can look this all up yourself. You can even ask your doctor. This is very legal information you can have access to. They can't just give you a vaccination without telling you if you ask them what's in the vaccination. So this is all a real thing. I'm just not going to get into the medical terms of it. In some vaccinations, there are also cells from aborted fetus tissue, so I don't understand why that's going into my body if I'm getting a vaccination for something I'm trying to prevent. That doesn't make a lot of sense. So basically, these vaccinations we're getting to prevent illness may be directly linked to us being unable to reproduce. The next topic or theory that ties into the idea of population control and new world order would be weaponized viruses. So for example, HIV and Ebola. If you didn't know, they both appeared around the same exact time in the same exact region of Africa. These viruses wiped out a ton of people in a very short amount of time and if you look up 
how Ebola spread, like how it became a thing. They're just like, oh, it was probably, like in the definition if you search it up, probably came from a bat. Like all these, they don't have a direct link of where it came from, this virus that appeared out of nowhere. Coincidentally, around the same exact time that Agenda 2030 came out. Agenda 2030 is basically a blueprint of everything the United Nations wants to do by the year 2030. They are now addressing virtually everything that humans do, any form of human activity, as well as global governance. At first glance, it's so vague to the point where you agree with everything it's stating but when you actually analyze it it's like oh my gosh they have a lot of say in a very wide range of things that are going to happen for example the first goal in agenda 2030 is to end poverty in all its forms what does that mean though how are you going to do that though does that mean you're going to kill off the homeless population? There's already been things happening with that, which are not going to be in this video. That's a whole other conspiracy. I swear, I probably sound insane, so I hope you guys are following me here. They have a lot of goals and things that they want to accomplish, but they're not very specific as to how they're going to do that. Not to mention, what about the countries that are not part of the United Nations? Will they be exempt from these goals that are happening? Or will they just be included automatically? For example, Africa, what happened over there? Coincidentally, right when this agenda became a thing, HIV, Ebola, a little too coincidental for me personally. The next thing I'm going to talk about has a lot more to do with this, but before I dive into that, I also just wanna mention my thoughts on the whole idea of cancer and radiation. I personally think, along with a lot of other conspiracy theorists, that there is a cure for cancer and AIDS, but we're just not getting it because it's a huge money maker and because of depopulation. There have been rumored a lot of very high class wealthy celebrities who had HIV AIDS and it went away. They got rid of it somehow, probably because they had the status and the social relevancy and the money to do so. But for people who do not have this kind of relevancy or wealth, they are not given the cure or the pill or whatever it is to get rid of cancer and HIV. But it just baffles me that it's 2017 and there's still no cure for cancer or for HIV, but we are this technologically advanced in medicine and everything else. It doesn't make any sense. My grandpa died of brain cancer when I was in eighth grade, but what really actually killed him was the radiation from the chemo. And when you think about it, chemo is so bad for you. I mean, we were always taught that microwaves, they can cause cancer because the radiation of the microwaves. Then why are people going through chemo? That doesn't make any sense. To get rid of the tumors to decrease the tumor sizes but they're coming out throwing up uncontrollably their hair is falling out it's not good for your body end of story just getting that sick after going through chemo when you already have cancer it never made sense to me it always just seemed like a way to kill people quicker who were already sick instead of curing them or seeing if they would be able to last and push through the cancer because some people who don't go through chemo actually make it the cause of death is usually cancer. How many people you think actually die from cancer versus a treatment that eventually got them toward the end? We're gonna get into our fifth point now, which brings us to GMOs, genetically modified food, basically. It's everywhere. I did a report on this last year in college and it's pretty crazy how much it affects us and our lifestyle and our brains and our body and everything. It's just so bad for us, but we consume it all the time because it's so much cheaper and convenient as compared to the organic stuff. So straight off the bat, we know this is not good for us, but we eat it anyways. There was a study done on rats where they were consuming the genetically modified corn, which we have in our cereals. It's everywhere, like the stuff that we eat. And they all developed like horrific tumors and they died prematurely. So so if that gives you any idea of what this stuff is doing to our bodies as humans, it's not looking too good. And I just want to relate this back to Agenda 2030 once again, the scariest part of this whole conspiracy. Goal number two in Agenda 2030 states, end hunger, achieve food security, improve nutrition, and promote sustainable agriculture. That could easily be translated to GMOs. Pretty much every goal in Agenda 2030 could be translated back to one of the things I just talked about. If not, there are a lot of other things. If you guys really like this video, I could make a whole separate one talking about the other things that I did not mention in this video because I knew this was going to be a long one. So let me know if you guys did in fact enjoy. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more, turn on post notifications by hitting the bell button right next to the subscription box. Leave a comment below. I genuinely want to hear what you guys think in regards to pretty much everything I talked about. Not a lot of people know about Agenda 2030, which is insane to me because when we all thought we were going to die in 2012, everyone was hyped about it. But then this is like kind of a different idea that we're all going to be under this order and mind control and a lot of people are going to be dead by the year 2030. When you really break it down, that's what it looks like. That's the conspiracy theory. Maybe it's really not all about that. It's more so having to do with global warming and wanting to feed the homeless, not kill them off. I don't know. I probably sound insane again, but I guess that's what conspiracy theories are. I guess that's why you guys want to see me film them because I get requests all the time. So yeah, subscribe, follow my social 
social media. Check out my Patreon if you guys want more videos and exclusive photo shoots, etc. I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.